Now that we've gone over the hardware and walked our way through the different network configurations for your CL series digital mixing console, let's get started on some of the basic operational functions. Specifically, let's take a look at the Q, the monitor, the oscillator, and the talkback functions. These functions can be accessed by touching on the headphone icon just on the right-hand side of the screen. On this window, you will see your Q, your monitor, your oscillator, and talkback parameters. Any function that you see here can be adjusted by touching on the icon or moving an encoder. If you wish to see a more detailed view, touch on the gray box over on the left-hand side to open up the pop-up for that function. Let's start with the monitor pop-up. On the monitor pop-up, you have your source select area, your monitor dimmer and talkback dimmer, your monitor fader, your monitor delay, the meters for your monitor output, phones level link, cue interruption, and the output on off. In the source select area, we can choose which output bus will feed our monitor output by selecting it. If you choose define, you can select up to eight sources to feed your monitor output. The dimmer, when activated, will dim your monitor signal by the level indicated here. The talkback dimmer will activate any time the user defined key with your talkback function is pressed. The monitor fader controls the internal signal level for your monitor output. If you go to the custom fader page, you can assign this fader to any of the custom fader banks on the console. The monitor delay will delay your monitor output by the value that you indicate. This is very useful when your monitor speakers are a long distance from the source at the stage. This parameter will be bypassed anytime a channel is queued. If you wish to prevent that from happening, you can turn auto bypass off. To prevent your monitor output from being interrupted by a queue, you can turn queue interruption off. To patch your monitor output to any of the output ports on the console, press in this section here, then select your desired output port. For example, if I want my monitor left output to feed Omni output number five, I would select it here and then choose Omni number five. If you touch on the gray box on the left hand side in the Q section, this will open up the Q pop up window. Here we can select our Q mode, choose how our input DCA and output channels will feed our Q bus and select if that Q bus is feeding one of our output ports. In the talkback section, you will find the different parameters for your talkback function. Pressing on the gray box on the left hand side of your talkback function parameters will open your talkback window. From here, we can assign that talkback function to the different buses. You can select as many buses as you wish. If you wish to use one of the Omni output ports in the back of your console to insert your talkback mic, you can select it by touching in this area here 
choosing Omni from the left-hand side, and then selecting the Omni input port. On the oscillator window, we will find the different oscillator modes which are available, and the different buses and channels that your oscillator can be assigned to. If you wish to choose a sine wave, you can select it here, adjust the level, and change the frequency. You also have the option of choosing pink noise and burst noise. Any of these oscillator modes can be assigned to one of your output buses or one of your input channels. 